Hello everybody and welcome to Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Pez plays. Yes. Let's just get into it. Um It's fine, that's fine. Oh no. Oh no. No 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 no. Well, I... Ah, crap. So apparently I messed with the memory card a little bit, and it deleted all of my save data. Yeah. Hmm. Well then. I think we might just take a break from T Tasmanian Tiger for a bit. I will... Off camera, I'll get back up to wherever we were, uh, we were at last. But in the meantime, I suppose we'll just have a little break from it, and... Uh, Play a few uh, different games, I suppose. Yeah. Let's head off then. Hello, everybody. I guess I've already done the intro by now, but um, yes. Tata's meaning Tiger wouldn't work. Again, I will get back to where we were and uh, start that up again. But in the meantime, I think for a while we can just uh, play a few other games, you know. Like Seven to Cent. This game is freaking awesome. If you don't know who Savant is, uh, Savant is, uh, he makes music. I guess you can call him a music maker, or a musician, I suppose. That's what they're called, right? Anyways, um, I don't know exactly what it's called he makes. I think it's like, um, electronic dubstep stuff? I don't know. It, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, let's just get on with it. So yeah, there you go. Sweet little intro. I guess Savant worked along with um, some artists to make all this, so it all has like the same art style by one guy, and he's the same one that did uh, like all these cutscenes and stuff. It's really awesome. And there you also got a bit of uh, Savant's music, just a little bit. But um, yeah, we play as Savant, and we got to get back to the top of the tower that you saw in the cutscene. And so here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna go up some elevator and. Um, a bunch of things apparently came back, came uh, to life, these machines, and they're going to fly around, and we're going to shoot them with missiles. Missiles. They're missiles. Okay, so yeah. Um, here we go. You can dodge side to side or uh, jump and flip. There's the first enemy. And here's the music. So yeah, this game is freaking awesome. It's very uh, fast-paced once you get uh, into it. Also, you can see in the uh, bottom left there... Uh, there are three hearts. Uh, if you get hit three times, you're done. And you've got to start the whole section you were on over again. So yeah, these uh, golden CD pieces here, uh, those are different uh, album or songs that we can unlock. And each one gives us a new ability or upgrade. And there's actually quite a few of them. I think you get four or five in the main storyline, which we're doing here. Okay, I should really be doing better than this. It's very fun, very fast. Okay, yeah, I'm not doing too well right now. Okay, yeah, 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 okay, come on. Jeez, no, 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 no! Oh, that was close. I'm not playing as well as I should be. 
No problem, no problem, no problem, we got this, we got this. Let's just get these gold, guys. No problem. And, holy crap, I actually dodged that. Oh, just barely, though. Oh, jeez, I actually survived that. Awesome. And yeah, here's where it gets a bit more rough. <clears throat> I'm going in to intentionally kill myself real quick. Once these guys decide to... Here you go. There we go. That's fine, because now... Yes, we're dead. And the score resets and stuff, but I don't really care about the score right now. Um, because now, we get to unlock the CDs. Yeah. So yeah, here we go. We get uh, special abilities. Uh, power trip. Each enemy you defeat adds to your charge meter. Oh, the charge meter is awesome. It helps a lot. Basically, once you fill a section of the power meter, uh, you can shoot a larger attack. Um, that one I'll, though, uh, Seventism, I'll have to explain. There we go, so the first attack we do charges up and shoots five missiles at a time. You can kind of see it for a second there. And that just goes on with the stream. It's really helpful. And you can see at the bottom here with the zero on it, that's our, uh, charge meter. So every time we, uh, kill an enemy, it, it'll go up, like you can see. And then we can unleash a new attack once one of those bars finishes like that. And it's really helpful when you're fighting groups of enemies. So I'm just gonna let it charge up all the way, because the more you charge it, the stronger the attack will be. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Or not. Also, these guys are an issue. Yeah, you want to destroy those blue guys real fast, because they'll mess you up later on. If you don't finish them off right away. So you can also see uh, our missiles are changing color as well. Uh, that's also That also happens when you charge the bar up. Uh, once you, for every uh, bar you fill up, your, uh, your missiles change color. And... Uh, you, your missiles do more damage the more your bar is charged up. So that's another nice use of it. And here are the dragons. Good. This is really hard to commentate over. <laughs> there we go. Just do that. No problem. We got this. Easy. Oh my dragon. There we go. Yeah, now we got him. I don't like to like keep on clicking to charge the- Oh my! I think it's best to just like dodge and use that to use the uh, spread shot thing. Attack? Yeah. You know what I mean. Here we are at the top of the tower. <clears throat> this game is pretty short, but there are other modes you can do. I'll show off those later, as well. Here we go, we're fighting the orb. And it shoots dragons! So basically, what you want, the best way to do this is to um, just keep on wailing it. And use your charge attacks on the dragons. And yes, there are multiple dragons! Because your charge attacks will, like, deflect them away from you. Just, like, charge the meter up. Finish you. Get both of them out of the Oh, maybe not. There we go. Awesome, now we got it. There we go. And we're done. That was the boss. So yeah, it's a fun short little game, and... Yeah. Wait. It's me, Mario. Yep, Mario's, um on the, like, album cover of one of his things. 
And yeah. He's kind of tough to beat until you uh, get like the pattern down that he attacks with. And I think the way it works, I don't know, I still haven't quite figured it out, but I think you got to attack two of the gold blocks there, and then damage the orb with your charged attack. I think that's how it works. That's the way I do it anyways, and it seems to work. So I'm just going to keep on rolling with it. We're doing alright, still got all three lives. But yeah, for Vario, it's all about timing. And you gotta be in the right spot for that attack. He does. I think I'm gonna charge the bar up all the way and see how much damage it does to the orb. There we go, one more. And... Oh, that did a lot. And we took a bit of damage there, but that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We got this. And... Oh gosh, come on. Come on. Just a bit more, just a bit more. Gotcha! Yeah, there we go, seven to cent. So Vario's like some sort of evil version of Savant or something. I don't know, the story there's no like actual story to it, it's just through the um or I don't think so, I'm not sure. Uh oh yeah. Uh Premonition, this one gives you the ability to like when an enemy appears, the screen flashes on the side of wherever it appears. So yeah, now that um we did that We've unlocked Vario mode. If we just, uh, uh, let's go into endless mode. Actually, I don't know what time attack it is. I've never done that. I'll just do local. Oh, I think you gotta, like, beat the game in the fastest amount of time? Oh. Oh, wait, hold on. Apparently you can't do Vario mode in time attack. Uh, Vario? Story. There we go. Alright, now... With Varia mode enabled, Samant will switch his mask out, like that, and suddenly we have the power to shoot Varios! And instead of uh, leaping from platform to platform, we just teleport. Yes, it's absolutely ridiculous, but it's also fun too. Oh, I guess you do jump as well, but you can still teleport. Also, your charge attack is different as well. I'll fully charge it up real quick. There we go. So the full charge attack are three of those blocks, and they follow around wherever your mouse goes. So it's real effective against groups. It does run out after a while, but... So yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah, I think that's good for now. But yeah, there you go. Seven Descent. It's a fun game. I highly, I highly recommend you get it. It's, um, I think it's, it wasn't, it didn't cost very much. It was like two or five dollars on Steam, somewhere around there. And it's really fun. There's, it'll keep you occupied for a while. I have no idea what, uh, this mode is. I'll have to look that up later. But, um, just to let you know, you're gonna expect some more 7 Cent. Not like this, but in another form soon. I'll let you just puzzle that out. But yeah. 
that'll be it for now. See you guys next time on Best Plays. Hopefully with more Tyler Tasmanian Tiger. I don't know if I quit being lazy and actually get back up to where we were. I had no idea that was going to happen. I just started recording and that happened. So, yeah. Hopefully it will be fixed by the next time. But, yeah. 7 to 10. Next time on Pez Plays. Stuff happens. I don't really have a plan. But, yes. Things will happen. And, yes. It'll be fun. Okay. Goodbye.